Welcome to Cloud On Air, live webinars from Google Cloud. We are hosting webinars daily. My name is Brandy Au, and today we will be talking about magnifying the value of G Suite with Chrome Enterprise. And joining me today is Christopher Jones. You can ask questions anytime on the platform, and we have Googlers on standby to answer them. Let's get started. Thanks, Brandy. So today we're here to talk about the value of adding Chrome Enterprise to your existing G Suite deployment. So why Chrome Enterprise? Because cloud-native productivity and collaboration deserves a cloud-native endpoint with all of the built-in security, efficiency, and intelligence. What is Chrome Enterprise? Chrome Enterprise includes Chrome OS, the platform that powers Chrome devices like Chromebooks, Chrome Browser, the default browser used on Chromebooks, and the Chrome Enterprise License, a per-device management license allowing management of Chrome devices at scale with integration to third-party EMM providers. Chrome Enterprise plus G Suite means smart, intelligent collaboration without compromising security. Assistive experiences that help enhance end user efficiency, reduce downtime for your users, and reduce security risk from fewer out-of-date endpoints and data protected in the cloud. The value isn't just imagined. We engaged Forrester to study existing Chrome OS and G Suite customers, and they were able to quantify these benefits. 30 minutes per user per week and reduced downtime due to more efficient cloud native products and increased mobility that helped avoid costs from lost productivity. A 15% improvement in help desk efficiency with device and productivity suite management in the same console, leading to easier remediation. A $100 per user in legacy technology savings due to easier rollout and ongoing management, and a 20% reduction in endpoint security incidents due to Chrome OS built-in security. Furthermore, analysts from ESG evaluated how much organizations can save when switching to Chromebooks with Chrome Enterprise based on the elimination of common IT tasks. Total device savings can amount to $480 per device outside of the cost of hardware and licensing themselves. So let's take a look at the factors that contribute to these savings, starting with security. With Chromebooks and Chrome Enterprise, automatic updates ensure devices never fall out of date and always have the latest security features. Safe browsing deters users from visiting dangerous sites that may include malware or phishing attempts. Sandboxing isolates tabs and processes if a vulnerability does get through and verified boot ensures the OS is a known safe version every time the device starts. Since data and profiles are stored in the cloud with G Suite, Chromebooks can maintain a negligible on-device data footprint. Results speak for themselves. We've had zero account hijackings using Chromebooks, G Suite, and two-factor authentication. For two-factor authentication, we have security keys that plug into your mobile or device or laptop and complement your password. These security keys cannot be broken like old tokens. Again, we've had zero account hijackings using this solution. Another key benefit of Chrome Enterprise and G Suite is simplicity created for users when dealing with cloud-native endpoints. Devices boot quickly, usually in less than six seconds, Updates run in the background so the user isn't disrupted or faced with downtime. That's up to 30 minutes per user savings, according to Forrester. Cloud-based user profiles enable users to log in to any device and have the same experience, making them highly shareable and making it easy to replace a broken device or enable grab-and-go or loaner scenarios. And finally, employees save time on sending versions back and forth and reconciling changes. 90% of G Suite files in enterprise accounts are shared, and 74% of time spent in Google Docs is collaborative. Likewise, we're also focused on creating a simpler and more efficient experience for IT. Less time is spent dealing with legacy technology like patches and software install cycles. G Suite and Chromebooks can both be managed from the cloud-based Google Admin Console, meaning reduced overhead and ease of use for IT. 
Smart defaults on policies help limit the time it takes to configure your organization. For example, most security settings are on by default. Finally, you can manage devices with existing third-party tools such as VMware, Citrix, and more. Finally, Chrome OS helps build on the intelligence already found in G Suite, focused on reducing mundane tasks for the user. With G Suite, users are able to leverage Smart Reply and Smart Compose to easily get through emails, or use the Explore function in Sheets to make the most out of their data sets. All the while, Chrome OS performs tasks like auto-adjusting screen brightness based on ambient lighting, or optimizing power consumption and memory management to adapt to that user's work habits. And much like Google Drive helps to suggest files for quick access, Chrome OS is designed to enable an efficient search experience. For example, device launchers optimize to recommend apps based on recency and relevancy. It can search across apps, web, G Suite, and on device files with intelligent rankings based on context. For example, files you usually access only at a specific time of the day. As you can see, G Suite customers across many regions and segments are adopting Chromebooks. Let's look at a few in detail. In the US, appliances manufacturer Whirlpool has completely overhauled its endpoint fleet by equipping its workforce with Chromebooks and G Suite. The numbers speak for themselves. Square adopted Pixelbooks, which allowed staff to take advantage of the G Suite productivity apps and move away from hard drive storage. In EMEA, utilities provider Veolia implemented its SADAWAD, which is Secure Anytime, Anywhere, Any Device program, with the goal of moving its workers to Chromebooks and G Suite. As a result, they've been able to connect their global workforce more efficiently and drastically reduce the amount of IT overhead required. Finally, in APAC, Service NSW was able to greatly reduce the support hours required to maintain their Microsoft environment when switching to Chrome Enterprise and G Suite. Cloud-based services enabled them to eliminate unnecessary additional layers and collaborate more easily. Cloud-based applications are becoming more and more prevalent, and more and more organizations are planning for their move to the cloud. To help, Softwatch came up with CBAR, a tool which shows real users' application usage, thus providing the relevant data for decision makers. CBAR can help recognize the following. Cloud workers, or workers who are ready to move to the cloud today. Potential cloud workers, or workers who could potentially be cloud workers. Desktop workers, or workers that use non-web applications to perform their jobs. CBAR displays the exact level of dependency on non-web as well as web applications to enable decision makers to design a practical plan for the mass adoption of Chromebooks. Additional functionality of CBAR includes the following. Editing applications lists, or defining which applications can be blacklisted, compatible, or watchlisted. Application tab, which demonstrates which users use each application. Machines tab provides machine information and in which machines belong to which users. Office usage tab, which demonstrates how many users use Office applications. And finally, macro usage tab, which demonstrates how many users use files with macros. If you're interested in getting started, check out the Forrester TEI report or start a trial of Chrome Enterprise that you can use with any Chromebook. Thank you. Please stay tuned for the live Q&A, and we'll be back in less than one minute.
Welcome back. Um, we're ready to dive into some Q&A questions. First question is, do Chromebooks work offline? Uh, that's a great question. I think Chromebooks have definitely had a reputation in the past of being internet dependent. Uh, most of our fleet is a high memory, high storage device with powerful processing, which means you can actually run applications in real time on the Chromebook without any internet connectivity. Um, additionally, you can work with your files that are saved locally on the Chromebook storage or in your Google Drive in offline mode. So we have offline mode for Gmail, and we also have offline mode for Drive. You can view and edit docs, sheets, and slide files using the offline mode. And it's really as simple as installing a Chrome extension and activating offline mode. I'm a frequent traveler, and uh, both Gmail and Drive offline are tools that I leverage quite frequently. So that's question one. Let's move on to the second question. Does Microsoft Office work on a Chromebook? Well, we hope you're doing most of your editing in uh, Google Docs formats, but we understand there may be a one-off need to work in a Microsoft format. Uh, you can save Microsoft native formats uh, on your Google Drive and in local storage on your Chromebook. There are really three main ways to work with Microsoft files in the Google environment on a Chromebook or in Drive. Uh, the first is through your web browser, the Chrome browser, uh, and with a sync client. Uh, the second is to install the Drive Sync tool in your Microsoft instance. And the third is to upload the Microsoft file to Google Drive or on your Chromebook and use Office compatibility mode. So you can do all of your editing in, in Google and move seamlessly back and forth between Google format and Microsoft format. That answers number two. Yep. That was great. Um, there's another question here asking about how Chromebooks stay up to date. So Chromebooks get automatic updates from Google, from the cloud, every six weeks. And so it really takes the onus off of IT admins to manually patch and update the devices. At the same time, IT admins have complete control over how those updates happen. For example, you can pin some devices to the current version if there are testing and validation cycles that you have to go through. Or you can also time the updates so that they're not happening when um, all of your users are on their devices. So while the updates are um, happening in the cloud and it takes the onus off of you, um, you can also completely control how that happens. And then we have another question here. Do you need antivirus software for Chromebooks? So there's many layers of built-in security on a Chrome device that actually precludes the need for antivirus software. And so a few examples of that are on the app layer, all of our apps are read-only as well as the extensions so that they can't modify the OS. Um, the sandboxing process we talked about earlier isolates malicious apps and extensions, and so it really limits the attack surface available on a Chromebook. Um, on the OS level, there's a concept called verified boot, which whenever the device starts up, we'll always try to detect whether that version of the OS is safe. And if it's not safe, then we don't allow the Chromebook to go into boot mode. And then finally, on a Chromebook, all of the user data is encrypted with our hardware security module, and that's built into every Chrome device that we manufacture. And because of the fact that users can't install executables on a Chrome device, that really reduces the chances of malicious software getting installed onto your device. All right, great. It looks like that concludes the Q&A list. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Please visit Cloud On Air to discover more content from Google Cloud experts. Thank you.